Hey there guys, so today we have another review, um, welcome to 2015, uh, we're going to be reviewing beer, oh yeah, sorry, I was looking for a bottle opener, um, so yeah, here we have Hill Farmstead's uh, Nordic Saison, um, this is a uh, brew, uh, brew from Hill Farmstead, it's a collaboration with uh, Kissmeyer from, uh, I believe, Denmark, and um, also Cambridge Brewing Company in Massachusetts, and um, yeah, so, I mean, these are two bottles of, you know, probably more iconic looking Hill Farmstead beers uh, with their, you know, his famous logo, but this is a Hill Farmstead brew. It is a Saison, I don't know if the uh, ABV is posted online, but it is not on the bottle, but it is apparently a Nordic-inspired ale brewed with heather honey. Uh, pretty interesting. Um, wow, jeez. Yeah, yeah, this is a hard, hard bottom to get off. All right, there you go. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. Um, uh, uh, speaking about Sean Hill, apparently he spends a good amount of time uh, trying to make those few words. Again, Nordic-inspired ale brewed with heather honey. Uh, just those few words. Um, for him, I think... He seems very conscious about what words you use uh, when speaking about beer. Um, like, what is a Belgian IPA if you're brewing it in America without a Belgian strain and using only American malt and American hops, right? Like, something like that. Um, I think uh, Crap Beer uh, Temple did an interview with him, and he's very conscious about that. So, pretty interesting uh, guy. Uh, you know, he's very um, serious, like, right? Like, very, like... He thinks a lot about what he's trying to do. And I think um, whatever people, uh, people's opinion about him is, he is very conscious about his branding and how he brews, and I support it because I love his beer. So there you go. <laughs> uh, so despite the rambling, uh, we have an awesome beer. Wow, beautiful golden color. Uh, maybe tinges of, yeah, just a dark yellow kind of golden color. Tons of um, head on that. Um, yeah. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Um, that is straight, um, just that, uh, what I want to sort of, I mean, it's not called the Saison, but it's sort of that funky Saison that I want. It's decently tart, it's got a lot of uh, lemon kind of qualities, but a lot of hay, like wet, wet hay, uh, but it's bright, so it's like almost spring hay, if that makes any sense. Um, it's not like too wet and dense. Um, Decent amount of funk, but it's a, it's a balance of a good amount of um, like uh, green apple skin, lemon peel, that funk quality. Very dry, doesn't, sm uh, doesn't smell sweet in any sense. Um, actually reminds me a little bit of champagne, that kind of um, spritziness that you get from champagne. But yeah, also a little bit of that kind of like, I don't know if it's horse blanket, but it's like a little bit soaky, like wet, if that makes any sense. Um, sorry, it's hard to explain these kind of funky aromas sometimes. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that is good. <laughs> man, that is good. It's underrated beer. Mm. Up front, um, I will preface with the fact that I had um, Hill Farms at Arthur today. Um, some, uh, sometimes... Hill Farmstead beers run around the city, and I was able to have some Hill Farmstead on tap. And despite the fact that I believe the, these two are relatively similar beers, I can't promise I could like pick out all the kind of differences between them. Despite the fact I had them in probably like hour difference, probably had it like earlier tonight, like hours difference. But there is a different kind of quality in this beer. Up front, there's a good amount of um, almost like a tropical bitter peel thing. Um, I want to say something like the bitterness and tart quality of a guava or something not, not as traditionally kind of sour, orangey, lemon thing. It's, it's got an interesting kind of tropical funkiness and tart quality going on. Maybe a little bit like kind of like a sour passion fruit, if, that, if that's the thing. Um, it moves on to... A decent kind of funk quality, not as funky as aroma. Um, on the back end, you get more of that kind of, um, yeah, it's that almost yogurty, um, that kind of almost, yeah, yogurt kind of funk and tart quality. Very dry, reasonably tart, more tart than the Arthur that I have uh, had. Um, it also offers more uh, prominent flavors than the Arthur. For me, Arthur is a little bit more of a subtle kind of Hill Farmstead beer. 
it has the same kind of notes. Funky, tart, saison, clean. This beer has the same kind of notes, but it's a little bit more aggressive on those notes. It's a little bit more tart and strange tasting, if that makes any sense. Sorry if I'm like trying to grab for words. It's a beer that you sort of have to, you know, rack your brain around, sort of describe. Um, absolutely delicious. I don't know if I taste the honey exactly. You maybe get a little bit of kind of like honey flavor, not sweetness. It is a completely dry beer. This is completely uh, sort of a champagne beer, if you, if you want to call it that. But it has wonderful kinds of, again, tart qualities, decent funk qualities. Um, again, citrus peel. Green apple, those kind of familiar kind of flavors. Again, that kind of tropical funk, uh, tropical tartness I was talking about. Again, with those hay, wet hay, horsey kind of uh, flavors, a little bit like like moist uh, notes. Absolutely refreshing. Something I love to drink all the time. Um, white grape. There you go. A lot of white grape kind of quality. I was comparing it to champagne or white wine. Um, yeah, it's amazing stuff. Um, on beer, I've get this beer gets a 94. I mean, I love this beer. It's really delicious. I, I, I'm really happy the fact that I picked up a few bottles of this. Um, let's go with something like a 96. Yeah, I think 96 is a good rating. Again, this is a, one of the beers that are on my top 10 of last year. Not the most mind-blowing beer uh, of, of all time, but it's a beer that I actually really enjoy for just like, you know, again, I'm like trying to grab for words about it. It's very interesting. It's very complex. And it's not the most like crazy kind of flavor profile, but it does offer wonderful kind of notes throughout. And uh, I just like the fact that it transitions. It's a narrative of what it offers. It's got a lot of notes going on. Again, what I was saying, the funk, the tart, and the saison weediness, and that kind of body the beer has, and the carbonation. Great carbonation on this beer. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later. Have a great 2015. I'll hopefully bring you guys awesome reviews. Later.